Welcome to the danger zone, Yamato. Are you rumble? Potentially. All right. Potentially. First of all, before we start the interview, I'd like to give a quick congratulations to Nico, Sasha's son. He actually recently learned how to say the word mama. So shout out to him. All right. Shout out to Nico and his mama. Oh, Marto. shit. I, oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Oh, I just realized now. Nico, Nico is is the is the son of my girlfriend's aunt. Welcome to the danger zone, <laughs> Yamato. And he had learned to say mama. You rumble. Potentially. All right. Potentially. First of all, before we start the interview, I'd like to give a quick congratulations to Nico, Sasha's son. He actually. Sasha's son is Sasha. Alexandra, Sasha. Oh my lord, I can't believe I so didn't realize this in the moment. Right. Shout out to Nico and his mama. Yep. I, I thought it was just a random person. That's, that's why I... Cool. Wonderful stuff, I want to say first of all. Uh, uh, Alan wa salam. Habibi. Oh. oh, very cool. Practicing some Arabic before our interview, you know, I just wanted right. to make sure what that... Uh, you know, salam alaikum, astaghfirullah, uh, right, mashallah. All right. You know, I've been what, to the What does mashallah mean? Uh, praise be to. It's not. Is it praise be to God? The thing okay. is, I don't know the direct translation, but I know in what case you should use it, okay. which is basically it's like, damn, God did a good job doing this shit, man. Cool, fair enough. Yeah. I might not have used it in the entirely <laughs> correct context then, yeah, but yeah. in any case, you know, I've been to the masjid a few times. Okay. You know me. <laughs> Do I know you? Uh, not really, but you know. <laughs> You know, you might catch me doing Jummah sometimes. I'm, okay. I'm a multicultural guy. Okay, you know, cool, cool. All right. We've got similar names. You know, I'm Jake, you're Jacob. You're just like the, sort of the Polish version of my name. Yeah, pretty much. But it's like my name is international. So I'm Jacob in English. You're like Pitbull. I'm like Pitbull, sure. Absolutely. I got hair though. Do you have hair on the door? No. That's, you uh, don't? That's the secret about me. Is that the secret? When the cameras turn off, I'll show you. <laughs> You've been called many names over the years. Uh, the uh, Polish Hussar of Shurima. Mm -hmm. The Crown Prince of Low Decibel Talking. <laughs> The Dragonborn, that's a team that you used to play yeah. on. Uh, when you're not busy sounding like an Eastern European corpse husband, you're also known as Vogue's, <laughs> Vogue's most handsome children's wizard game personality. Children's wizard game personality? Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it, really, League of Legends? I don't know. If, if children's it, wizard game. <laughs> I guess it is. I think that's an apt description. I will gladly take that title with yeah. me after this interview. One second, just checking this is on. I always get anxious about that. Yeah. You see in my interview sometimes when I check that. It's because, just wondering, you know. I just check OBS. Or XSplit, that's what you yeah. used, to, used back in the day. Mm. Um, I wanted to ask, with all this in mind, you're sort of known as this very handsome figure in the community. I wanted to know, why does your Leaguepedia photo look like someone's forgotten to turn off the big cheat hack in GoldenEye 007? <laughs> It's a pretty decent picture, didn't think. I Honestly, think they've... let me tell you, bro. In Iceland, we had a crazy food budget, bro. We had 140 euro a day. Is that why your head's so big? Bro, I ate like... I'm a... failing to <laughs> see how this bro, connects. I ate like a motherfucker in Iceland. So that's that's what's up. I didn't I don't fit in that Gucci suit anymore, bro. Yeah. I'm way too jacked. It's all gone to your head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I think people like to talk a lot about illegal agents. There's a lot of uh, sort of uh, religious metaphors. You talk about the Church of LS, Church of Chovy, mm -hmm. stuff like this. I think you have that kind of presence that you could be the head of your own church if you wanted to. Um, and I think it would definitely help in your pursuit of that because you went to school next to a cathedral, cathedral, didn't you? How the fuck did you know that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. You studied natural sciences at the Rudbecken Bienska Gymnasia in Vesteris. And this is a picture of you graduating from school. <laughs> That's what's up, yeah. Down. That's what's nice up. Well, I need to make my Facebook private or some shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's me. That's it's a nice little sailor suit. Yeah, yeah. You do a lot of sailing? Sailing? Every day. Been man. smooth sailing recently. I can barely swim. So I need to stay on a boat. Those waters get deep. It gets very deep, especially in Sweden. You know how sticky it gets. That's what Drake says. That is what Drake says. Yeah. He specifically said it to me in a message. Oh, someone's got direct contact with Drake. Can you get him on the interview? Honestly? I want to be the next Bobby Altoff. Bobby Altoff? You know Who's Bobby Altoff? That annoying He's such a fun dude to riff people. with. Lil Yachty. I love to riff. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Honestly, okay. But that's a picture of you looking absolutely ravishing, and it's, it's no wonder that it's sort of, you know, I know that you study a lot of science, so you must know from your study of science it's better to piss in the sink than to sink in the piss, but you wouldn't be able to do that because you don't have a sink at home at the moment, do you? I don't have a sink home right now, no. Can you tell us why that is? 
So basically, I ordered. Uh, this is going to make me sound like a proper cunt. Uh, basically, I ordered <laughs> I the sink I out that. of marble. Mm. And I, uh, I on the description, so, sometimes you speak with someone with, a, with an accent. So <laughs> sometimes you speak with someone with an accent, and then it's like you like a part of you just begins to speak like them. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where this came from. Uh, basically, I ordered the sink out of marble. Mm. And I, uh, on the description, it said it weighs 50 kilos. That shit doesn't weigh 50 kilos because it's fucking straight up marble. And I bought a, a fucking, what's it called? The fucking shrunk. The thing that's under the sink. <laughs> what's it called? The shrunk? You yeah. shrunk, yeah. The shrunk, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be able to support no clue, it. I have no sink because I'm not re ready to gamble because I think I'm going to rip up the whole wall because... I got marble on the wall, no, I get it. and I don't want to rip up the marble on the wall. So basically what you're saying is you've not been washing your hands after you do a poo recently. No, I just, I just dip it in the toilet before, and I just keep the water on my hands, and then I just do this. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that. That's quite... That's a lot. It's a lot. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. Wow. I got messages, bro. That yeah, makes you're sense. a man who's commanded like this, cerebral really exuberance your throughout your shit. career. I think you could be characterized. <laughs> a lot of people talk about coaches. I think you're a gaffer style coach. You know, very old school Chelsea. I know you're a fan of okay. them. Um, I think you're a Mourinho type figure in the dressing room. You can win yeah. the dressing room over. Despite all of this, I wanted to know what's it like being the second best player in your house? <laughs> Honestly, no shame in that. My girlfriend is a beast. So, no shame. You know, it's 2023, you know. Absolutely. Things have moved in the right direction. That's a wonderfully progressive answer that I enjoyed very much. Thank you. <laughs> use that as a <laughs> uh, I wanted to say, you said a very famous quote way back in the day. Mm -hmm. On the 5th of September 2013, you uploaded to your Instagram a caption, too much stuff covering my keyboard, I cannot see. Hashtag Snapchat, hashtag Cash Money Flow. And it's a picture of about 300, uh, 300 <laughs> kroner here. What, yeah. you, what did you mean by this? Yeah, that's what's up, man. Look at me fucking balling in cash, bro. You know how much this is? We calculated it's about 200, 300 euros, maybe a bit more. <laughs> yeah, and think about it. This was 500 weeks ago. And I have compounded of weeks. that money into interest. And now I could buy a ring. A Doran's ring. Yes, <laughs> money makes money. Money does make money. That's what they say. I think that's what they t should tell some teams in the NLC. That's fucked up. <laughs> Very fucked up. Seriously, get your money on, not your funny. Up. Anyway, but I, don't know what this uh, I was from, wondering, just in terms of uh, you, <laughs> the you sort of portraying that? a lot of this money online, I don't think it's quite inappropriate. What do you think about the current unemployment crisis? Where? Oh, on the sack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was so quick oh, it's with mad. This. It's mad. <laughs> but all of these fucking kids, they are spoiled as fuck. Yeah, and then I'm they're sure. coming into the sack to leech off of our Domine. Yeah, 100%. But Dom is a cool dude, so he allows it. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He's, yeah, he's uh, been very nice about my interviews. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know what happened when I met Gilius? Tell me. Well, the the, the interview is not out yet, but okay. I'll give you a little preview because yours will come out after his probably. Yeah, yeah. But this guy, this is off camera, we did the interview with a lovely lady who works for SK, Lara. Yeah, yeah. And we did it in her apartment, the, the interview. And sort of while... She has like loads of cat hair on her because she's got two cats. <laughs> but she's not like gotten rid of it because she's just like, having her off there or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then Gilius suggests to her, oh, you've got cat hair. There's a thing you can buy for that. It's called a lint roller. <laughs> and then she, the like, she's owned though. cats all her life. And he just sort of thought it was an appropriate thing to suggest that she should get a cat hair <laughs> removal thing. Like she didn't know what that was. I think Gilius assumes that everything he knows is like secret. Absolute. Knowledge. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like he is the only one that possesses that knowledge and he is going to liberate everyone's um, life through knowledge and information. It's wonderful. I think he, like, it's kind of, he's kind of strikes me as someone that, like, if you told... I think he sees things on, like, Reddit cool facts and he thinks he's discovered fire. Well, that's the kind that, of... Yeah, 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 that's the kind of person he is. <laughs> yeah. In any case, friends. Mm. Talked about the sack. We're nothing without our friends, are they? They make us, they break us. What can you tell me about your old friends? Kareen, Henrik, and Eddie Boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Who the fuck were the first two names? Corinne, Karen, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Corinne. Henrik Who's, and Eddie Boy. Karin. I, have, I have no clue who Karin is. <laughs> well, I, I can comment. tell you. There was a comment. Way back in the day. Corinne, <laughs> Karen, Swedish I don't know if I'm second. pronouncing that right. <laughs> Henrik Who's, and Eddie Boy. I have, I have no clue who Karin <laughs> I'm is. I'm Swedish. Well, <laughs> I can seconds, tell yeah. you. 
Right, tell me. Way back in the day, back in twenty, <laughs> back in twenty ten, you were called Mr. Bums, weren't you? And you started an account with three of your friends, and you all called yourself Kareem oh, Goose, yeah. <laughs> Jocker, Roy Goose, that was you, oh, Henrik shit. Goose, and Todd Goose. You started a four-man oh, team. Shit. So basically, we were making fun of this dude in our school. That apparently got fucked by a bear, is what you said. <laughs> Bro, in this video, I don't know, there was like a guy in school, a friend of our, a part of a friend group. For some reason, one of the guys in the friend group spread this rumor that he got fucked in the ass by a bear, and that when he... <laughs> he spread this rumor to everyone, and people believed it. Have you believed it? <laughs> and this story was mentioned in this fucking piss video that was made. <laughs> he said, basically, <laughs> the rumor was that his farts sound like they don't <laughs> they don't make a sound because he got fucked in the ass by a bear, and that was the rumor that was started. I, I, <laughs> Something like that. Oh, shit, the fact that you found this shit, bro. So we were we were having a LAN party. You know, LAN parties in the old days. Yeah, yeah. Like, everyone was fucking toasted out of their mind. This is the last name of this dude that um, the other homies in my group are always making fun of. Mm. He's still a friend nowadays, so it's okay. You know, it wasn't, it yeah. wasn't bullying. It's uh, well, all good. And basically, Karin is the name of his mom. Okay. <laughs> and... That's why we have these names. So we made Smurfs. Interesting. That's what I missed. Yeah, yeah. That's what you missed. So basically, these are names of family members. Mm. So Roina is the name of some other dude. And Cor... <laughs> so basically, Hendrik Yers was the guy we're making fun of. Joachim's mother, his name is Karin. So one of the accounts was called Karin Yers. And then there were two twin brothers in my school called Simon or Robin. So there was an, uh, one account, their father was called Roine, yes. And that's the true story. Roine is the name of someone's mom. <laughs> and Henrik is the guy who we are making fun of, who has okay. the last name Gers, which doesn't make any yeah. fucking sense. What kind of a fucking last name is that, man? It just Even looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> my my research, mass. one of my researchers read that name out loud earlier and his computer started flowing out the window. <laughs> <laughs> the group kind of makes sense, but that's why we're making fun of it. It's just yeah. a name that you need to make fun of. When what you're a ridiculous reading. person. Why were you called Mr. Bums? Why was that your name? I have no clue. It's just, you know, like auto-generated names. Yeah. But it's it's like Mr. Boomze. I didn't think about Mr. Bums because Mr. Bums sounds like <laughs> I make money in the nightlife. <laughs> Mr. Bums is a crazy. Name. <laughs> anyway, in any case, one time back Mr. in like, 2015, Bums. it might have been, you replaced a coach in the LEC and you went on to get maybe better results than him, arguably. Mm. And a fan asked you um, whether you thought you'd done a better job than them. Your quote was, do you think you've done a better job than this person last split? And you said, imagine being Obama becoming president after the Bush era. Bro. What did you mean by that? I, <laughs> I, but I don't know what the fuck I was saying oh, back then, shit. bro. So this was before I joined Rocket. Um, 2015. Must have been, Do you want yeah. me to say who you, you replaced Ducky? Yeah, yeah, shit. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> that's mental. That's so fucked up that I made it so spicy. Well, basically, <laughs> you know, Iraq war, all that stuff. It was uh, yeah. a rough time. Obama inherited that and, you know, he did his best. Well, that's what I've, I mean, I've done what you said. I mean, you told me to imagine if I was Obama and I've said, I, I mean, I've written this here. I think we've got to take this the troops mental, out of Iraq. We've got to do it in a way that doesn't destabilize the entire region. Okay. We've got to get in, we got involved for vested foreign interests. We dressed it up nicely. Let's keep spinning the dice. No, Garen. See how far we can take it. At the end of the day, we know Ziggs and Singed have been working for the Sharima Weapons of Mass Destruction Department. <laughs> and we know that in order to run a false flag operation, we've got to get in there, extract the glimmer, and keep the whole thing quiet from the tribunal. Mm. What do you think of that? Is a good plan? Honestly, I will refrain to answer because I think this is a minefield that uh, only it's you. It's a good, have. good metaphor. Yeah, you only you you're the only one with the shoes capable of surviving that type of blast. So I'm gonna be like, <laughs> hold me close to Tony Gonzo. I am not John gonna answer that. <laughs> you're a massive I'm fan not, of rap. I, I recently saw your gonna, top five on Twitter. I, I am not gonna, I'm not gonna get involved, bro. Like, we're the rap guys in that is, the NFL that is esports. That is all you. Esports in general. We got a big thing to do, Toby. Yeah, we got a big track. We got a we got a big track coming soon. Don't worry. 
You clearly know your stuff. I mean, you know me. I've got bars. Yeah, of course. I could, I could show you some bars right now. Yeah, yeah. You want me to spit some bars? Give me some bars, yeah. Esports got no money. I had to tell these CEOs sick. there's no point being a printer if you've got no toner. Mm. They call me Mr. Nice Guy, but I'll get mad if I see a man smile, just mm. like I'm El yo <laughs> They say, Don J, you got a man sent down Half-Life for having his hands on the orange box, but I bet it's a persona. I got five gal on my line. They all play Enchanters. I guess you could say I get it. Persona. Oh, shit. I was in the Sistine Chapel just being a fanatic, but you'll never know me as a boaster. Ooh, give me some love. Give me some love. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Did that for my city, man. Holy moly. London on the map for London the first time. London on the map for the first time. I wanted to ask, because you're a massive fan of rap, why did you edit your family into a rap cover here? It's loading. Slow internet. Give me a second. We'll do a quick cut. Why did you make your family into Big Kid Mad City? No, it's, no. It looks kind of badass, don't you think? It does, yeah. It looks kind of kid. Listen to me as, as a kid, and I did the whole Good Get Mad City thing, and I thought it was cool. It is very cool. That is a wonderful album. Is that one of your favorite albums? Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite albums. Kendrick Lamar is fucking the GOAT. He's very, very special. He's the GOAT. On to the next question. Right after you. Of course. I mean, that goes without saying. Fucking Half-Life, fucking bars, and Elioia smiling, all that good stuff. I mean, you know, it's all topical. I don't have, this is not a question. I just want to show you two images and sort of get your reaction. So you've got this first one here. Okay. <laughs> oh, where did we find this shit, bro? I've got this one as well. <laughs> what is this? Um, <laughs> what do you think about these two? <laughs> it's quite good, isn't it? Like, yeah, I like it. It's a good combination. The other one completely. It's quite ironic because that first one's from a video of you giving advice about people how to get in esports. <laughs> okay, you've done your research. Yeah, of course, you know. Advice. Well, you know, we have it's to. It's like a background check, you know. It's like now I need, now I know that my tracks are okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless in you found something fucked up and you're like... Oh, here we go. In 2007, <laughs> when you committed wire fraud. <laughs> Wait, in 2008, you were using a cheat engine to hack browser games, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's you up, you're like. cracking Congregate yeah, and things like sure, this. Yeah. With a record like that, it really brings into question a lot of the incredible results that you didn't achieve while you were a pro player. <laughs> sure, show, man. The thing is, the thing is, I played those flash games the same way I went through school. It's yeah. all about making, doing minimal work. <laughs> so basically, it's like... A lazy genius will find a quicker way to do it. Yes. So basically, it's like we had this fucking hall, right? This building yeah. that we would be tested in. Mm. And we basically, me and my friend group, we would basically say that we have three lifelines. Yeah. Three lifelines, same as fucking who wants to be a millionaire type shit. Yeah, yeah. And we would say, you can go to the bathroom once. We would always hide a notebook in the roof of the bathroom. <laughs> what is this and then editing, bro? We would the phone in there. And then usually we would put on headphones. We would claim that we have tinnitus. And we would just say we need to listen to music. But we basically recorded ourselves. Is that where Adam got the idea from? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. No, it's like we, we just made sure that we did as little as possible uh, coming into those tests and we mm. scored well, man. That's incredible. That's important. Yeah, so the same thing with the congregate shit. Well, you know, you've got to do what you got to do. Engine doesn't work on League of Legends. I did try it with, with like Don't Riot say points. that. Don't no, say that. <laughs> no, with Riot points and shit, I did try it. Everyone's done that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You tweeted, you tweeted this image. Uh, <laughs> I don't see that. They are. It's not that important to the story. Taylor Gang is coming for you. I was just wondering what which member of Taylor Gang are you? Fizz Kalista. <laughs> I have no clue what the fuck this shit is. Uh, this is this is Daniel and this is Bjorn. Yeah. And that's me, of course. V-neck is criminal here, by the way. <laughs> v is criminal. Oh, you like Your it? fashion sense is coming like kick You remember that scarf that you used to wear? <laughs> that guy needs to get locked. <laughs> he needs to get locked. And the is chains. You have several. Well, this, this is not too bad, man. It's all right. For that okay. time period, it's very normal. Yeah, yeah. Listen, when you're not baking at the sugar mill. Um, which was your baking blog back in the day in 2013 that you ran with a few students or getting rare tiles that the person who sold them to claims yeah. no one else can get yeah. or watching Chelsea Football Club. I struggle to understand what it is you actually do. What's next for your Marta Cannon? I mean, you tried playing, didn't mm. work. You tried coaching, didn't work. You tried YouTube, didn't work. You tried Analyst Desk, didn't work. Nowadays, you're employed as a sort of a full-time bully for sort of developmentally underprivileged uh, failed pro players. I want to ask, I mean, you talk about like Gillies, he's your main point, point of comedy. Yeah, yeah. He was definitely held back a few years in school. I didn't need to do any research on him to find that out. So I wanted to know, when are you going to get a real job? When are we going to see you down the construction site or something like that? Honestly, with my trajectory, maybe I should just do something that you can only fail in and that's run an NLC team. <laughs> 
Fair play. You give, you give as good as you get. You give as good as you get. Fair enough. It's been wonderful speaking to you. We've been waiting for this for a little while. I've yeah. wanted to make it special for you. I hope I have. No, and good. we hope you enjoy the rest of your day and your time in the finals. It's been a pleasure, man. Please, please. Thank you you yeah. say ruddy up at the end. Three, two, oh, ruddy up. Okay. Oh, you can't down. Do it again. Count Three, up. two, one. Ruddy, ruddy up, up, baby. Sheesh. Boom. <laughs> Sick. Nah, let's get I love this dude. Bro, there's some sick news coming out in regards to this homie later. <laughs> there we go. I like when the yeah, outside corny accident switched to Swedish. <laughs>